Today in Roman history and antiquity, a Persian Shah used a fearsome hunter group in his conflict against the Eastern Roman Emperor from 502 to 506. The fear of Huns was still fresh in the Roman mind, and in this war, they served as raiders, scouts, and light cavalry. However, I will use the term Huns to make it easier, unless I have to specify a specific group. Find out today about the Sasanian Shah Kawad I and his Huns in the Anastasian War. Kawad I had an enormous debt to pay the Hephali Huns for their assistance in regaining his throne. He asked Eastern Roman Emperor Anastasius I to get some money, and Anastasius' council debated and concluded with a refusal and instead proposed a loan to further Kawad's debt. More importantly, they wanted to strain relations between the Sasanians and the Huns. This served as a pretext for war. At the beginning of the Anastasian War, Kawad took Theodosiopolis and besieged Amida in October 502. During the siege on Amida, the Huns, alongside the Sasanians and Lakhmid Arabs, raided Constantia, also known as Tella. On October 19th, the military leaders of Mesopotamia and Armenia, Eugenius and Olympias, retaliated, but prolonged because of their Roman soldiers plundering, and as a result, they lost. Also, according to Procopius of Caesarea, the Huns found Jacob III during their raid at Ingolene, and Procopius corroborated from a Syriac source. Jacob arrived at Amida, and he and Kawad worked out an arrangement to allow refugees into Ingolene, a day's march away. Patricius and Hypatius initially won against the 800 Hunnic scouts, but they lost due to their complacency and incompetence in allowing their lunch break to be spotted through the meat's blood moving in the Isamon River. The Sasanians noticed and responded with a quick attack, which caused a rout of the Roman cavalry and a slaughter of Roman infantry. Nevertheless, hearing about the event, Kawad negotiated for his release, and the Romans returned to him with gifts. The reason might be the significance of the Hunnic leader to Kawad for owing money to the Hephthalite kingdom after helping to regain his throne in 498. Then the Huns and Sasanians went to Karhai, but the Romans under Raphia successfully used their cavalry, 60 Huns dead and their leader was a captive. Unfortunately, we do not know who Rufaya was, an Arab or some name of an unknown person. On September 24th, Kowai besieged Edessa, and Ariel Bendis was the commander. The Huns were present, but the Sasanians failed to take Edessa. In July 503, Kowad gained Hunnic and Arab reinforcements and besieged Apatna in August, and the Huns participated in it as light cavalry or Clemenarii. The Sasanians won due to Hypatius' incompetence for not getting proper intelligence of the Sasanian formation. The Magister of Achildum, or Master of Offices, Keller, fought alongside other Roman commanders like Ariabendus. Keller possibly arranged with the Sepir Huns to attack the Sasanian Empire, which Kawad later retreated and sued for peace. To add on, the Romans went on the offensive and turned the tide in their favor. The generally accepted version was that the Sabir Huns threatened the Eastern Roman Empire and the Sasanian Empire. However, 
historian Shafri Greatrix did not clarify whether it was the Sabirs or Hephthalites. Another confusion was the Hunnic invasion through the Caspian Gates, which came from Zechariah Amenhotene's Syriac account. The Hunnic involvement contributed to some successes, but the incompetent leadership of some of the Roman commanders made more of an impact. However, the Huns were invaluable to the Sasanians and participated in many military actions during the Anastasian War.